Hey guys, hope you guys are feeling recovered from last week. That was quite the week for sure. Um, we have, starting on Monday, we've got toes to bar, thrusters, and bar facing burpees. If that's not a workout to help you prep for the open, I don't know what is because i um, pretty sure every year those three movements come up in the open. So a um, little bit heavier on the thrusters, not much. It still should be a moderate to lightweight and a um, couple of different ways to approach that. If you feel strong with that weight and that movement, you might be able to push a bigger set. And um, some of you may be better off to do smaller sets that allow you to take a short break. Um, we don't want you to do so many that you have to rest for a long time. Slow, smooth, smooth is fast on those burpees, and it is a lot, um, even compared to last week, which we also did bar facing burpees. Um, be smart, and we're looking at four minutes max, and scale the number of reps if you know that you need to. Sub seven, 17 minutes is what we're looking for on that one. Tuesday um, is Wendler week five, so we're still continuing with um, adding 10 pounds to each of those calculations. And also, that is Jess Retegno's birthday, so that's exciting. Um, Wednesday, we have bike or cardio calories, um, double unders. Did you see how many there are? Holy cow! Also a great opportunity to practice. Um, <clears throat> kind of a unique one where we have a couple of scores. It's for time, but also for calories, if you saw that. So making sure you're tracking how many calories you got in each of those five minute windows. Um, Drew's birthday also. So make sure you uh, let him know. Happy birthday. And hopefully he comes in and gets that workout going. Um, Thursday, we have some Olympic lifting work. Um, some primer is going to be some snatch practice, which is awesome. Um, as you all know, those movements don't come naturally for most of us. And the only way to get better is to do them. And then that is going to be also our open repeat workout. If you saw, um, we're calling it 16.3-ish. Um, the original workout was listed in the notes, um, but it's originally with a barbell, but we're going to be doing that with two dumbbells. And they should be light, if you notice that. Um, something that no matter what, every single round in that seven minute workout, you are going unbroken. So choose a weight wisely there. And we have Greg Rittner and Sean Flynn birthday on Thursday. So uh, make sure you wish them a happy birthday. And then for Friday is our interval day with this one. Um, the reps change a little bit, you'll notice that, and also the weights as well. So we've got some decent, decently heavy loads um, for each of those three intervals. And just choose wisely, definitely challenge yourself to go heavy because that is the stimulus of the workout for the squat cleans and push jerks. And um, respecting that eight minute time cap limit that um, is listed in the notes. Saturday, we've got a really fun chipper. Um, one thing to note, sometimes with partner workouts, you get rest, but with this one, you will be holding a double kettlebell front rack hold while your partner is working. So no rest there, scale wisely as needed. Um, and then Sunday, we've got more odd object work and lots of fun with those sandbags, which are such a great movement. Number one, it is an odd object, uh, but also one of my favorite movements for just core development. So that's what we have for the week. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good one. As always, let us know if you have any questions and... Let's get after it.